we were the ones that did it. Yeah, it was us. Extra with an exclusive first look at Jussie Smollett, Anatomy of a Hoax. It was a crazy scene that Jussie put on. He even said, I would not be my mother's son if I was capable of one drop of what I have been accused of. I'm like, man, you ain't your mother's son, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> <'Cause it's> the, <laughs> better get that birth certificate. <laughs> right. And a new interview with Bola and Ola Osendaro's attorney, Gloria Rodriguez. Why did they agree to carry out this attack for Jesse in the first place? Jesse was their friend, and they didn't want to betray their friend. And so at the end of the day, it was their trust that was taken advantage of. I was down to do it because if we do this for him, he could probably help us out with our careers. Jesse was someone who could really help their career. And beyond that, he was their friend. The documentary goes into great lengths about their feelings and how they felt when Jesse asked them to beat him up. Hitting Fox Nation March 13th, the series goes into timeline detail about the attack and how Jesse choreographed the whole thing like a script that he was directing. And the brothers take us back to the scene. This is where we waited for Jesse to come before we attacked him. After I threw him to the ground, I used my knuckle and gave him a noogie to give him a mark to make it look real. That's Attention. where I came around with the bleach, the infamous bleach in the hot sauce bottle. Bleach on it. Okay. The original plan Jussie had was for one of the brothers to douse him with gasoline. And then I believe it was Ola who said, no, 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 I'm not doing that. I'll do bleach instead. Why the stipulation? Why is one better than the other? That's something um, that they also go into in the documentary, but their ultimate decision to participate in this is very contradictory to who they are as individuals. They would never, ever be involved in a hate crime like that. What tips me off to the narcissism is when he's looking at Robin Robertson, he says, and I want a little gay boy who might watch this to see that I fall back. I mean, what delusions of grandeur, right? I mean, he is creating this entire fantasy where he is the hero in it. The fifth episode of the documentary takes a deep dive into that very issue, Billy, and it's it's like cringeworthy. When he first had told me about it, I was the only one in the car with him. I didn't know what to feel. I was flustered. I was like, wait, damn, am I gonna, is this doing the right thing if I agree to it? That's doing a friend a solid. It's unfortunate that they couldn't see far enough down the road that you're also throwing a nation into turmoil. The layers of so many different issues, politics and um, social, race, all of this, this power dynamic just kind of blowing up in a time in America where we're already so divided and there are already so many issues. I remember the detective that put that footage together. We were all both thinking, that don't look like two white guys walking down the street. We was in character the whole time. So you think you guys are believable white supremacists? 100%. Do they feel a sense of remorse now? Did they then? As soon as this had taken the, the circus status that it did, they immediately felt remorseful. Jussie has always maintained his innocence. I am not suicidal, and I am innocent. And last week, his attorneys filed an appeal challenging the hate crime hoax conviction. Did Jussie reveal an intent to the brothers as to why he wanted to do this? You know, that is the million dollar question. Give me the million dollar answer, Gloria, because I've got to know. This thing has been troubling me for two years. I know, I know. And the million dollar answer will come from Ola and Bola Oshundario on the documentary. Okay, so you're gonna make us wait for that.